lawmakers say we sympathize with the grandparents who aren't being allowed to visit their grandchildren. But as Mike Vasalinda tells us, grandparents may have to wait at least another year. FSU law professor Dan Markell was murdered in his garage seven years ago this July, not long after. Our son's ex-wife cut off contact between us and his two children. In video testimony before a Senate committee, Dan's mother Ruth called the separation painful. But unlike in most other states, Florida law doesn't provide us with the ability to petition the courts for visitation. Florida law says grandparents have a right to see their grandchildren only if both parents are dead or if one is dead and the other has been convicted of a felony. Neither is the case for Phil and Ruth Markell. Jeremy Cohen was Dan's best friend. Ben and Lincoln's mother even went to the trouble of going to court to legally change the boy's family name from Markell to Adelson. The family just wants a judge to hear the case, but a legal expert told the committee any law interfering with a parent's rights would have to be very narrow. It can't be a grandparent right bill only because I think it will be struck down as an equal protection violation. The message after the workshop, this is going to have to wait until next year's session. Don't give up hope. Uh, there is always an opportunity to file bills, to debate them, and to get good policy passed. Three have been charged in Dan's murder, two have been convicted, and the investigation that names the ex-wife's family as persons of interest remains open. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Masalinda, Channel 4, the local station. The children are now living in South Florida with their mother and maternal grandparents.